Hi, I'm Sophie, the sales manager at Guitar Instrument Taiwan. Recently, we rolled out a whole new vibration analyzer, SMSRC, short for Rotor Care. Our clients are loving it. So I'm going to do a demo and elaborate on the feature details for you. Now we are at the main page of SMSRC. Before getting started, tap on the LIBO icon first to get some guidelines. It will tell you how and where to mount the accelerometer as well as some installation steps. Okay, back to the main page. You see what we've got for you. Four functionalities all in one. We have rotor quality, dynamic balance, spectrum analysis, and vibration meter. Omni feature portfolio is a perfect fit for users from junior to senior. Okay, let's check out the first feature, rotor quality. In each individual function, you will find a useful toolbar on the left. I'll go through each of them later on. First thing first, the setting. Unlike the other analyzer on the market, with a bunch of complex settings, the most appealing design of SMSRC, set by my client, is the simple setting. Never complex than two steps. Let me show you how. Okay, first, according to the machine kilowatt, select the corresponding rule to follow. I'll just go with the first one. Then a bandpass filter underneath. It's an advanced feature to define a specific frequency range. For example, if you want to filter a structural low frequency driven from the compound motor system or reciprocating air compressor, it will help. Okay, let's measure. Rotor quality is a feature fully compliant with ISO 10816. You can tell the machine's health condition by four color indicators without any expert knowledge. Also, you can get the VRMS figure. During or after the measurement, tap on the icon to switch the unit from RPM to hertz. Swipe it right to get a zooming look and then restore it. You can save the data in CSV format. Just tap on the file icon. Or do a screenshot, tap on the camera icon. In case you have operational concerns, check out the question mark icon to get a feature instruction. For some of the users who might not be familiar with all kinds of machinery, with building the measurement point recommendation for those who don't know where to place the sensor, you just, you just go tap the location icon. Okay, how simple it is, isn't it? Let's move on to the second feature, dynamic balance. Same toolbar here as you can see. For the setting, choose your machine name from the drop down menu. If you can find one to match, just go with the G level auto detector. 
I'll go with the 0 0.4. Underneath enter machine RPM, which you can find in the motor nameplate. Or you can just leave it blank. The system will automatically detect the max frequency for you. When we start the measurement, in the center, it shows the G-level regulation related to your machine type, according to your prior setting. At the bottom, you can find the analytics result of G level and also the value. If the column shows in green, meaning your machine got passed. On the contrary, if it shows in red, meant your machine was failed in the G level standard. RPN set will also display on the monitor. If you didn't type the RPM at the first place, the system will automatically detect the maximum frequency and mark auto next to it, like this one. Okay, I'll, I'll pause it right here and go back to the G-level auto detector. For the G-level auto detector, the column will be displayed in white as neutral. The G level bar on the top is echoing with the G value. For sure, you can save the result in CSV format or JPG screenshot. But I'm not going to repeat this part again. You can go backward to check again in the previous feature. Our third feature is spectrum analysis. In the setting, you can choose the physical quantity like acceleration, velocity, displacement. Or you have different views from RMS, peak to peak, zero to peak, metric or imperial unit. And also define the bandpass filter if needed. Once we start the measurement, you can see the time domain waveform as well as the FFT chart. There are two icons representing steady and non steady signals next to the time domain waveform. Press the 1 to match with the waveform captured. The FFT will change according to your action to display a valid chart. For both chart, during or after the measurement, you can swipe it right to have a closer look and also save it for further analysis. For your reference, in the question mark, you can find the magnifier icon. Tap on it. There are a lot of spectrum characteristics for you to do the cross-reference. Finding the failure root cause is so easy. OK, back to the last feature the vibration meter. Similar setting as spectrum analysis, we've got the physical quantity, views, as well as the unit for your good choice. Also, the high pass and low pass filter for a more specific measurement. Let me start the measurement. I do like to highlight the three icons on the upper right, real-time, average, and maximum. 
during or after each measurement. You can switch it easily to see different value structures, or depending on what machine character, to view the specific value which makes the measurement more resilient and easy. Okay, I think that's all for today, and I hope it's useful for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.